Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to install a wheels manufacturing thread together bottom bracket. So let's go ahead, let's take a look. So here we have the uh, bottom bracket as it comes. Now this is going into a, a BB386 EVO um, bottom bracket shell. And this is also for a, your 24mm for your Shimano cranks for this, this particular bottom bracket. So there you have the actual bracket, bottom bracket itself. As you can see, thread together. So it's just one piece when it's installed. It's just a solid piece like that, one piece. So that's the beauty of it. If you've got a bottom bracket that's you're having trouble because it's creaking all the time, it doesn't matter what you do to it, you can take it out, grease it, do whatever. And, uh, and it might last a couple of days and then it's creaking again for instance or clicking or whatever so these are useful in that situation also you get obviously your dust seals in there and some spacers in there as well with it so like I said they're one piece like that this is metal so it's aluminium one piece so when it's when it's done up it can't move whereas your normal traditional um, press fit bottom bracket is obviously your three sections like that so the cups are in there and obviously they can move independent of one another when they're in the frame because the piece in the middle is just normally a plastic sleeve like that that just sits in there it's not doing anything just weather seal basically so obviously it's all independent of one another so it can move independently so therefore you're more likely to get a problem with them creaking if yours do. Some don't, but some of them are perfectly okay. But you might get the odd one, it's just creaking, and you wonder what you can do about it. So that's when these uh, threaded versions of the uh, press fit come in useful. So with your bottom bracket shell, just make sure you've cleaned the area where the, the uh, cups are going to sit in there. Just that area here on both sides. Uh, degreased it, just make sure it's clean and just have a look at it, check it, make sure it's not damaged or anything and then with your bottom bracket so what you want to do is unthread that out of there all the way to so remove that out of there like that, so there's the thread so what you want to do is make sure you put some anti-seize on here on this thread just to stop it causing you any problems at a later date and then grease this side here that's going in, this is the uh, drive side as you can see so the uh, right hand side so what you want to do is just put a little bit of grease around there make sure if you've got a carbon frame it's carbon friendly grease so like a lithium based grease is fine for carbon fibre and then put just a smear of grease on here as well where it's going to sit inside the frame now this side this is the side we're installing into the right hand side like this so the other side threads into here so what we want to do is offer that up first before you put any grease on it just to check and see make sure that's not if you push on it with your fingers just check and see if that's just going to push in by hand so it's not a problem if it does if that just pushes pushes in there with your fingers then that's not it's not a problem you just will skip the next step I'm going to show you if yours just pushes straight in there so so what we'll do is I'll just get some uh, and he sees I'll just put it up inside a little bit inside there so we know that's got some on it in there obviously we do the other side as well when we install it but I'll just do that side while we can get to it and then what I'll do is like I said I'll just put a, a little bit of grease on there like that and then so you, I'll just put a light smear around that area there where it's going to sit in the frame 
like so. And then for this side, we just put that in there like that and rest it in there like that. So it might start a little bit and then it'll go tight. I say yours might push all the way in. If it does, it's not a problem. But what we got to do now is just press that in. So, so you need adapter for this side, correct size. So it just sits over here like that, your bearing. And then put that through like that. And then on the other side, you just need a larger diameter one because there's nothing in the other side, it's just an open hole. So we just need to cover that side. And then all we do is just wind this right hand side piece into the frame. Basically as though you was installing a press fit bottom bracket. So we'll just press that in, wind that into there. Till it's all the way in. And then we just remove the tool and then we carry on with the opposite side. So now we're on the uh, left hand side. So I'll do, I'll put a bit of grease on there and he sees over the thread of that piece there, like that. And then we just put a little bit of grease on there and on here. Basically the same we did as we did for the other side. So with this side, what we need to do obviously is thread this in. So this, like I said, is a BB386 Evo. So the tool for the end here is a 16 notch like that or you can use a spanner as well so you can get a spanner like that so it's a 16 notch or it's a 48.5 millimeter size the tool so what you need to do is obviously put that in there like that so as it's touching on the, the opposite side what you've already installed now obviously get that thread started cleanly, don't cross thread it. Make sure it's going in there like that and it's threading in. Like that. So get it started by hand, make sure it's going in as it should. Or you can use the, uh, the tool on it when it gets closer. And just thread that in until it stops. So we got that done up by hand, now that as much as it's going to go. So then you can just carry on and do it up like that. 
and then when you've got it nipped up enough you can check it with a torque wrench so the setting on that is 35 to 50 newton meters to check that with your torque wrench now like I showed earlier if you pushed in the other side the right hand side and that just pushed into the frame by hand obviously when you go to put this side in and you're doing this side up the other side might be spinning slightly so that's why you've got a spanner is you can hold that side with the spanner and then do this side up until until it stops moving on the on the other side it might stop spinning after a while once it's got clamped up a bit so you can just hold it with the spanner if you have to while you do this side if you had to push that in to begin with if you just pushed into the shell by hand obviously this one as you see pressed it in so we just use the tool on this side to do it to thread it in with like I said then you can just torque that up so now we've got the actual bottom bracket installed you've got your dust covers to go over the bearings there so before you um, put those over best thing to do is just put a bit of grease see over the bearing there and also just put a bit around the back of that dust shield there just helps keep the uh, moisture out and then you can just stick those in place like that just rest them there we'll see you might knock it off a little bit when you put the uh, crank set through but same on the other side we we'll just grease that up and then stick that on the other side so we've refitted the uh, crank set now and we haven't used any of the spacers that come with it as you can see now your particular application you might need a couple of those spacers it just depends on this particular one it didn't need any so all you've got to do is grab hold your crank arm make sure after you fitted it that you pull it backwards and forwards like that and make sure there's no you can't feel any movement in it at all so then you know obviously you don't need the spacers if you had a lot of play in it see the spacing isn't enough so therefore if you can feel a load of movement in it then you might need one of the spacers either each one either side one either side on there but like I say in this instance we don't need any spaces on on this particular setup here so it should spin we'll see easily as well after you refitted your crank set you should just be able to spin it like that no problem at all so that's the installation complete so hope you found the video helpful if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content until next one ride safe and I'll see you then